Hey guys, just got set up here. Found a beautiful spot on the river here. I was gonna get set up to record. I already got something here. working its way under the seat there. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. Okay, there you go. Look at that guy. Big old Snake River German Brown. Oh, look at that. My hook popped out of his mouth. Good thing I grabbed the net. We'd have lost this guy. It's a nice one right there. Yeah, I just barely got here, got my boat all anchored. I found this beautiful spot up under a tree so I can uh, stay out of the hot sun. It's supposed to get up, I think, 80 today. So, show you how I do this. You know, put about six pieces of corn over our hook up the line here. On my live stream, I showed I was talking about how I use corkies sometimes. You can use different colors here. Um, I did. Oh, there's little bugs out here biting me. I thought there was. I put some. Up. I got some bug spray in my box. I'm not sure. Might have to get some more. Them little buggers bite hard. Okay. Oh, them arms all hurting. Wheel? No oh, wheel. Okay, we put our six on there. Okay, then we're fishing with half a worm because I was going to grab another thing of worms. I don't think I have too many in here, but they are snake sized. So we'll break them in half here. Would have caught that first one on. I did find one spot over here. There's kind of a tree laying over here, and I think it kind of split her across there for a ways. Got all snagged up, broke my line as soon as I cast out. So then I cast back out, went and set my camera up. And my pole started bending over while I was anchoring the boat good. Okay, we'll put our worm on there to where he's dangling, nice and natural looking. Got a good bit of tail hanging off. And we're gonna cast out here right where the the current comes into the nice uh, calm water. Wanna be right there where it stirs. Let her out, let her sink a little line out there, okay? And we're gonna put that on there. And then I got a little thing clips over here. So we can hold our pole. But, yeah, when you're in the sun, it's best to find a nice little spot like this if you can, so that you don't uh, end up sunburnt to hell and you get cancer or something. And you get this guy here. Put him on the stringer. Yeah, the river's pretty high, real high, but we're, uh, it's just starting to clear up. Hopefully there's a whole school of these babies in here we catch our women. I was going to kind of record for a minute just to see if we got another one. And then I may just do a little Saturday morning live stream here. Saturday night for all my friends in the Philippines. Didn't bring my watch today, totally forgot that. I like to keep this line kind of tight. So that when something's hitting it, you can tell. Sometimes they'll just strike that sucker and then bring it towards you. That's pretty wild. Oh, well, she's going tight here. See, we got another nice trout here or not. Give it a minute. Okay, I took my nice sharp pocket knife and I cut that branch that was hanging down in front of where I need to cast. So we can prep this and have our 
own little super secret special fishing hole. You see, I got an anchor sitting up here on the front. I got an anchor sitting on the shore back here in the back. And it just holds the boat nice and steady. That water's really moving out there. I mean, it's so fast. It didn't take me a minute in my dang. I mean, I was, I think I can travel about 10 mile an hour or so in this boat, depending on the water. And it slowed me down to like two in spots. So it was almost like we were just walking down the riverbank. I'm not really happy where I have this. I'm gonna check it real quick, but make sure I'm not snagged or anything. I think I need to get just a hair further out. I'm pretty crazy about uh, having my fishing equipment just where I want it and stuff. Yeah, that'll take it out just a little bit, give a little line. Let it go for a second, okay? So it can sink to the bottom and when you reel it in a little or whatever you're not just dragging it back toward you there you go i think that's pretty good i think we're out there a little better and in a better better spot this one, I think I was a little bit more this way when I caught it. And sometimes when you catch a fish, it stirs them up a little bit and then you gotta wait. Yeah, within about oh, five, 10 minutes, they'll come right back into their hole. Depending on the fish, some take the oh, hole 10, 15 or so. But yeah, pretty quick, they'll, uh, they'll calm down and go back to what they were doing. Hoping maybe we catch another one real quick so I can get it all have two on one clip. I say it's probably one of them times I won't catch another fish and I probably didn't hit record. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if I had my watch, I could watch where it was filming and all that good stuff. So I need to remember to grab that next time. And like I said before, my watch is waterproof and it has its own cell signal. So if my phone dies or I get dumped in the water here, my phone gets wet and won't work and I need to call for help, I can always use my watch. Just dial 911 and talk to them. Then they can at least trace where I'm at even if the microphone's full of water. I usually blow on it and blow the mic out. but. I've had waterproof cell phones before I've taken down diving and everything else. But might get, uh, get a hook, get my other pole rigged up, throw it out here in a little different spot, try not to get snagged and see what we can do with that. So here in Idaho you have to get a two pole permit, I think it costs like fifteen dollars. So they got a new hard card uh, fishing license here you can get it costs five dollars extra and you get like an actual credit card it has a little little symbol on it and everything the qr code so they can just scan it see if we can find it real quick it's cool it has a picture of elk and stuff on it there it is yeah got all my info on there on the back it tells you I have the disabled combo, two pole permit, three year access. Next year I gotta renew my three year license, but, but yeah, they send you this instead of just getting a little printed receipt. Then it doesn't get destroyed in your wallet, especially when you have the three year license, because yeah, you wouldn't even be able to read it by the second year. Uh, come on, buddy. Bite me. <laughs> it's a beautiful day to be out here. I mean, it's perfectly calm. Everything is just perfect today. Well, I think we're going to cut this video here. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll do some more video later. Might do some shorts, everything else. Got a nice little phone holder up there. I'm probably going to get something a little better, more permanent. 
I can raise it up higher, stuff like that. Holds my phone a little better. Oh, there we go. Hold on. That was a bite. Let's see if we can get him. Man, look at that. I go to stop filming. He's going to hit me. Come on, buddy. Come on back. Just seen a big one jump over across the river. Over on that side, though, there's like a big uh, gravel bar down there. Don't like getting too close to that. I like staying on this deep side. Right now, we're in uh, four foot of water right against the bank. Over there, I can see the grass coming up. See if we can touch this a little bit and get him to play with us. Something come by and hit it. and hit my worm. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it didn't really damage anything. Worm's still floating up good and whole. All my corn's still there, so it must not hit it very good. Let me go out here one more. And yeah, that's perfect. We'll set it right there. And we'll uh, we'll come back. If I get another another fish on, we'll do another little video, some shorts, whatever. I just wanted you guys to come have a good time out here with me on the Snake River. Got my pole up on that branch. I need to cut it off higher. I'm going to get my little saw and get out there and hold on to it and cut it off where I want. So. Yeah, I think we're about where we want to be. Drifted me right back over into this spot, but I think we're a bit further out yet again. So, I want to be right along the edge of that current because the big fish they sit right there along the current because they don't want to just swim their butt off all day, but they want food, so they sit along the edge of the current and they're getting one. And then, when the current something comes by in the current, they run out and grab it. Gotta know your fish, you know. If you don't know your fish, you're not gonna catch the big ones. A lot of these guys that go out on these little streams and right out in the current and they catch these little trout, and they're like, Man, how do you catch the big ones? Well, that's part of my secret there. Now, come on, something was hitting it. No, it's not. I'm gonna show you guys some real action live, you know. One another thing, I like to go upriver to fish. That way, if you have an engine problem or something, you're not trying to haul your boat upriver. You're not trying to paddle upriver. You just got to paddle over to the right side, and you can get off and uh, load your boat back up. So it's a little little easier to just control it with the paddle <laughs> rather than trying to paddle upstream or something. And who likes to paddle? Good workout, but good lord. Let me give you guys a second. Just see if this guy come back. Oh man, big one just jumped right there. Oh, you guys got that on the cam or not? They're in here. There you go. Gotta be careful not to pull back and disturb it. Sometimes they'll go to bite it and pull it right out of their mouth when you don't want it. There's another one jumping right there. Come on, guy. Come on. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. No. Not a jerk. I kind of set to it, so. See what we can do. I might have to get some lures out, get some spinners or something, and throw some spinners across here because they seem like they're kind of high. Well, throw some of my corn off. I haven't really got that big old worm yet, so we'll throw her back out there. Right there on the edge of the current. 
Well, like I was saying, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe to see more. I keep hanging my line up over that stupid branch. Yep. I knew I should have cut it off higher. Hey. Y'all stay tuned. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh, we got another one here. It feels pretty big. Oh, we clear out there in the current right now. Let me drag him in here. Decent size. I just uh, put the kernel of corn on the end of my worm because when I was putting it on uh, on the other side, they was just eating the corn off the line. Yeah, come on up here, big guy. Whoa, man. Yeah, you got some some fighting. Well, another German brown. Get him in the net before he gets out of here. Okay, here we go. Nice little fish right there. Let's see what we got. Don't got a great big hook on them, so these are females. Males have a big hook on their bill on their nose. Come on, baby. Hey, quit moving. Quit wiggling. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna eat you. I ate the baby. You know what I mean? I got my sinker all tangled in my neck here. Just fell down through the hole. But, yeah, there's... There's a nice got the hook in me there. That was good. He got the hook in me while I was trying to get the net untangled there. There we go. Ouch. Poke me just a little bit. Yeah, I just just hooked her in the lip. Okay. Grab that hook out right there. Just perfect little little lip hook right there. Whoa, hey, don't rock the boat. Check out another nice German brown there. We're going to grab our hook gill here. Bring your hooks on. Okay. Hook it on with this other one. Oh, look at that. The other one's a little bit bigger, just a little. A little thicker too. Okay, let's set them back in the water so they can be happy. And we'll keep fishing. Hey y'all, I just missed one that felt real big. Now I got another one on. Let me fight it in here. We have my watch, so I can just turn on my camera and hit record. We got him in here. Oh, this one looks like maybe a rainbow. Smaller. Let me extend my net out on. Think about it here. Go around here. Oh, nice color. Okay, come on, buddy. Uh, a decent sized fish. Just cast back out from missing the last one. And this thing got right on there. So. Oh man, that's freaking a mess there. Just trying to tie everything up. I definitely don't like this net for my uh, sinkers. These big sinkers I use. They just kind of go through it and make a mess. But you know, we're going to get them out here. See how deep I took the hook here. Okay, so a lot of y'all might think it's kind of a little kid thing. But I use these old uh, hook pullers. Most people have all the fancy pliers, all that stuff. And they're like, oh, those are for little kids. Well, they work just fine. Come here, buddy. I can get a hold of this sucker. They're fighting today. Water's 
Oh, 57 degrees. Probably a pretty good temperature for them. They're feeling good. Just work that up and down a little bit. Pull the hook right out. Then we got to get our uh, rig untangled out of the net here. Set that fish down there for a minute. Okay. much problem with getting my sinker stuck in the net, but today it seems to be a theme, so I don't want our worm stuck in there too. <laughs> okay, well we'll put, put a, some more corn on here, because that seems to be what they're hitting real hard, and we'll get our lines back out there. Just wanted you got to see a pulling in another fish. Okay, y'all, German brown trout, I'm going to show you how to clean him. Stick your knife in his butt there, and you just work it up. Don't want to go too deep, just through the meat. Get him up there to between his front fins, right here into the gills, or not before, on top of the gills there, right through his mouth there. These ones have big teeth, so be careful where you grab. You literally just grab this. Tear it loose. And get the front fins and everything with it. Then you just rip the guts out. Throw them in here for animal food. And you run your finger down the back to get the little blood vein out of there. Pull his head back, twist it, and rip it clean off. There's your clean fish.